Hi, this is Dan Cordopassi of TSG Multimedia. Today I'm reviewing an HO scale SD75M from Athern Genesis. My model is decorated in the Santa Fe Warbonnet scheme. This unit represents one of the last engines built for the Santa Fe before the BNSF merger in 1995. The MSRP for the DC only version is $199.98. The MSRP for DCC and sound is $299.98. The paint on the model is very crisp and even. The markings are well done, although there are some voids in the paint on the Santa Fe logo on the side. Mostly these are in the seams between the doors, so with some weathering they probably won't show very much. Although I noticed that some of the door latches also have some silver on them when they should be red in the Santa Fe emblem. The model has numerous warning stickers and decals, and all of the writing is legible with magnification. It also is loaded with lots of neat detail, especially on the trucks and under the sill area. There's even a little block of stenciling under the brake wheel, which is really, really small, but nonetheless readable with magnification. I think that's pretty neat. The front of the model is very detailed. The grab irons are separately applied. It has very delicate windshield wipers. The handrails are really nice and thin. The ditch light housings seem to match the photos of the real SD75Ms that I've found. The pilot details include the snow plow, MU hoses, and uncoupling levers. The model is equipped with McHenry scale couplers on both ends. Both couplers were low according to the KD coupler height gauge. The rear of the model also has really nice detail. The pilot includes spare knuckle holders. There are also separately applied grab irons. There is one error though. In the photos that I've seen of the real units when they were delivered, the number board should be silver, not white. The radiator fan detail is really good. It's hard to see, but there are separate blades and the fans are see-through. One neat detail is that the grills under the dynamic brake area are see-through. I'm shining a light through it so you can kind of see it. The model has a full cab interior. All 12 wheels pick up current, and all six axles are powered. All of the wheels are engaged according to the NMRA standards gauge. The model has good underbody detail too. I really like the sander pipes. The model weighs 19.2 ounces. I was able to register 2.6 ounces of pull on my force gauge. I have the DC version of the model, so I'm running it on DC power. It's pretty smooth and quiet. Has really good low speed control. I would expect with a back EMF DCC decoder it would be even better. I'm going to hold it so I can run the engine on DC and show you the lights. They seem a little dim, especially the ditch lights. Overall, I like this model quite a bit. I think it really captures the look of the SD75Ms on the Santa Fe during the last months of Santa Fe's existence. So for me, that's a good thing since I modeled that era anyway. I do wish Atherin would start using LEDs instead of bulbs. That's something that's bugged me for a long time. I also wish that they would make a provision so that the number boards were more easily lightable because that's a difficult modification to make. I'm disappointed in the paint error on the rear with the number boards being white instead of silver. That's not something that Atherin normally does. So I'm going to take a spike for that. And I'm also going to take a spike for the coupler height being too low. My final verdict is 8 out of 10 spikes. If you or your company make a product that you'd like us to review, please drop us a line at reviews at tsgmultimedia.com.